I had been out in the red paper and I was on the cover page and the headline was top gays speak out how I became a homosexual. What would happen if, if we are thrown into prisons? What will happen to the voice of the LGBTI people who speak out for the rights of the LGBTI people? Nancy, welcome to Daily Extra. Thank you for having me. You're the co-director of And Still We Rise, which is about the struggle of the anti-gay bill in Uganda. A lot of activists in the film discuss the origin of the anti-gay bill. Where do you think this stems from? Well, I think what the film talks about is the role of the religious right, uh, evangelical religious right from the United States. But it also talks about uh, the way in which that has been opportunistically used by uh, politicians and particularly by repressive regimes. As small as we are, we are fighting against this very big Christian movement in Uganda. And it has been very difficult for us to undo the damage because they said we are recruiting young children and then promoting homosexuality. I'm simply saying, look, I'm here. Include me in the national HIV AIDS policies, in the national health policies, in programs of the government. Stop expelling us from schools. Stop beating us. The law has value for those who are in the business of violating people's human rights. We see the launch of Ugandan Pride in the film. Absolutely. How safe is it to have those sort of celebrations? Well, you know, I have to say that one of the things that has really, really stood out for me in doing this work with Sexual Minorities Uganda is the tremendous courage, resilience, tenacity of the movement in Uganda. They're just incredible. One, one day I will be on a Skype call with Richard Lusimbo where he is fearing for his life. And the next day, they're organizing a pride. <laughs> Seriously. What about people who say a white woman shouldn't be making a film about LGBT Ugandans? How do you respond? Well, in fact, when we went to uh, Uganda, but also, as I mentioned, I've worked with 12, in 12 countries doing this work, um, and everywhere we were challenged, uh, and, uh, and absolutely we should be. Because the problem is that what happens is people from the global north uh, come in, they do their research, they do their films, um, they work with the, they film or interview the local population. They go away, they publish their work in academic journals in the West. They publish their films and festivals. They use uh, local talent from Uganda and they don't even let them know when the film is being released. Yeah, so there's a history of this and it's tied up with colonialism. It's tied up with, uh, you know, structural inequality. Uh, and so, of course, as a white woman going and doing this work, there is all of that. Uh, and uh, so I think it's a testament to envisioning. And when you talk with our partners in the Global South, they will say this. Uh, it's a testament to envisioning that we've done the work in a way that is working with local partners that recognizes their leadership, that puts them in the driver's seat. What Frank Mnugishu said about the film was, this is the first time that our story has been told in our words and tells the real story of the work that Sexual Minorities Uganda is doing. Amazing. Okay, thank you. Okay, what's up?